Welcome everybody. <clears throat> this is going to be video number 48. We're going to talk about the space race and the Apollo missions. So before we get doing with that, I did want to have a chance to define a satellite for you. Uh, by definition, a satellite is an object that revolves around another. Now the moon is a natural satellite, so considered a natural satellite, and that would be any moon of a planet. And then a spacecraft would be an artificial satellite, so the ones that have to do with communication or GPS or things like that, that would be an artificial satellite. But they both do the exact same job, they revolve around another. So let's talk about the space race. Uh, this began in 1957. It was a competition between the United States and the Soviet Union, and this happened during the Cold War. The Soviets were the first to launch a satellite into space, and that's the picture that you see there. It was named Sputnik 1, and before that, nobody had ever launched anything into space, so this was a very big deal. Uh, Sputnik 2 had the first living being on it. It was a dog right down there, and I've got a picture of her for you. Um, and she orbited the Earth in November 1957. Uh, there's actually a big monument to her. Uh, and then the United States uh, launched what was called Explorer 1 in 1958, so a little time after. So when uh, Explorer 1 was launched, we then formed the NASA, or the National Aeronautics Space Administration. Before that, NASA didn't exist because we had never even traveled to space. So who was the first person into space? Uh, well, it wasn't from the United States. It was from the Soviet Union. Uh, it was a guy named Yuri Gagarin, um, and I've got his uh, birth and death dates up there. Uh, he was from the Soviet Union, and he uh, orbited the Earth, so it just means he went around the Earth once in a ship called Vostok 1. And this is a picture of him in Time magazine. So who is the first American in space? Well, uh, Alan Shepard was the first American into space. He traveled there one month after Yuri Gagarin, and he was aboard uh, the Freedom 7. This was part of NASA's Mercury program. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and the first American to orbit uh, was John Glenn in Friendship 7. Uh, so one went into space, the other one actually orbited. On October 4th, 1957, the world watched in awe and fear as the Soviet Union launched Sputnik, the world's first man-made satellite, into space. This little metal ball, smaller than two feet in diameter, launched a space race between the U.S. and USSR that would last for 18 years and change the world as we know it. And by August 1957, the Soviets successfully tested the first intercontinental ballistic missile, the R-7 the same rocket that would be used to launch Sputnik two months later. So the scary thing about Sputnik was not the orbiting ball itself, but the fact that the same technology could be used to launch a nuclear warhead at any city. Not wanting to fall too far behind, President Eisenhower ordered the Navy to speed up its own project and launch a satellite as soon as possible. Project. The Explorer, which was successfully launched in January 1958 but the U.S. had barely managed to catch up before they were surpassed again, as Yuri Gagarin became the first man in space in April 1961. Almost a year passed, and several more Soviet astronauts completed their missions before Project Mercury succeeded in making John Glenn the first American in orbit in February 1962. And in May 1961, a month after Gagarin's flight, he announced the goal of putting a man on the moon by the end of the 1960s. They succeeded in this through the Apollo program, with Neil Armstrong taking his famous step on July 20th, 1969. Uh, the role that uh, President John F. Kennedy played, uh, and this is a quote directly from him, I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before the decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to Earth. And this is really uh, what started um, our mission to the moon. Uh, so here's actually a quick clip of him saying that uh, very famous quote. Nonetheless, President Kennedy goes before Congress and lays down the gauntlet. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. President Kennedy's interest in space moves beyond just beating the Soviets. As his passion grows, so does his rhetoric. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. 
not because they are easy, but because they are hard. It will take an all-out effort by thousands of dedicated Americans to design and build the machines and methodologies needed to succeed one small step at a time. All right, so let's get into actually what was the Apollo program. Well, this happened between 1964 and 72, and this comes into play exactly when we watched uh, the Apollo movie the other day. Uh, there were many unpiloted spacecrafts, and these spacecrafts were called Surveyor, and this is a picture of them. Uh, they actually landed on the moon's surface and proved it was solid. We didn't know until we actually landed there if it was in fact solid and if we could walk there. Uh, so what were some of the moon landings that actually occurred? Well, the big famous one, of course, July 1969, Apollo 11. And this was Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. They explored the moon for about two hours, collected samples of rocks, and planted an American flag. I actually have the uh, actual footage for you here in a second. Uh, some of the later Apollo missions from 69 to 71, there were five more. Uh, and that's where you met the Apollo 11 crew. Uh, some astro uh, astronauts actually stayed for days. Um, some used a lunar rover, which is a term for like a moon car. And a total of 12 humans have walked on the moon. Um, and uh, sort of the weird or fascinating fact is we haven't been back since then. Uh, so astronaut missions. Uh, the Mercury program had six missions. Uh, they were the first to orbit the Earth, so it just means to travel once around. The Gemini program had 10 missions, and again, they all orbited the Earth, so each time we're advancing the technology, so we're learning more and more. The Apollo program, there were 11 missions, and these were both lunar orbits, so we orbited the moon and we landed on it. And then there were a total of six lunar landings during the Apollo program. And if you take a look at the picture I have here of the moon, it'll show you exactly uh, where each of those landed. Six and a half hours after landing on the Sea of Tranquility, Neil Armstrong steps off the footpad of the lunar lander and ends the race to the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Hope you enjoyed that actual footage. So here we go with summary time. Uh, describe the key events in space race. These don't have to be very long. You could just list a couple of them. Uh, what was the goal of the Apollo program? And that's the one that John F. Kennedy was telling you about, our president. And how many people have ever walked on the moon total as of today? So thank you for watching. See you